How's it going? This is Hoyman, and today we're taking a look at Alta Tales of Bizarro Velvet Crow figure. So here's the box itself. So the front you have a nice window display of the whole figure inside. And then around the side you have some nice artwork, the name of the character, the logo is as well. And the box is actually has a nice matte finish to it and the patterns you see on the box are actually slightly raised so it has a nice texture to it. On the other side the window extends to the other side and then you have a picture of the character. The other side a small window and then the back of the figure itself and in the back of the box you have like a almost full view of the figure and then you got the bottom, it's just some Japanese legal stuff. And then the top, another window to see into the figure. And overall the box is actually very large. I mean the pose of the figure itself is quite dynamic. So I guess there, was, there wasn't really much choice but to make a large box for her. But yeah, it simply opens from the top. Like so. And then it just simply slides out. The first thing is we have the instructions. So here's the figure it's still in its packaging. And because of its dynamic pose and fragile pieces, there are a lot of protective parts. So there's like a foam here, a lot of wiring and kind of bubble wrapping inside that wraps around the figure. So definitely a lot of protection in the box so it would most likely take a while to fully get out of the box but once I get the figure out and properly displayed I'll display it in the light box to give you a better look so I'll see you there okay so here we have the whole figure fully displayed and must say it's a very nice figure just very well sculpted all the fine details are just very clean. And the pose is also very dynamic. And just overall a very nice piece to look at. Represents the character very well as well. And you can see all the different sculpts on the strands of her hair. Has this really nice motion of flowing in the wind. And then that's the same for her coat as well. You can see all the rips. And then it just flows across the wind as well. Taking a closer look at her face. Definitely captures the character's look very well. Portrays her character and expression really well as well. Has that very sinister and cold hearted look in her eyes. And then somewhat emotionless face as well. And then down to her clothes. It's just. All of it is just sculpted very nicely. And the paintwork is just very clean as well. See all the. Fabrics and all the detail logos. A belt this piece as well which is like a floating piece and it's more on a softer material the rips on her clothes as well down to her boots it's very nice sculpt very well detailed and on her arm as well you see all the different belts and how all the colors just fit really well together and mesh and have another look at her 
really nice hair. And then all the thin parts are on a softer material as well, so you don't have to worry about them breaking or anything. And then the bandage here is on a softer material as well. Same with her coat. It's all soft, so it won't break on you. Even the end of the coat with the belt is all sculpted and very well detailed. And then on her bandaged hand as well, you see all the details and creases and folds. It's just overall a very nice piece. Now this figure is on the more expensive side, but considering it's the design of the character and how nicely sculpted and detailed this figure is, I'd say it's definitely worth the price tag. And I do get a feeling she will go up in price very quickly, so if you do plan on getting her, then I recommend getting her sooner rather than later. And then moving down to the stand. It's quite a basic stand, being just a full circle. But it does have the character's name and the game she's from, as well as the logos. And then you have her signature symbol on there as well, which is actually embossed. So there's some texturing to it. And then the bottom is just quite plain. And the peg that's used to hold the figure in place is actually made from metal. So you don't have to worry about, like because of its dynamic pose and that she's only being held up by her one leg, because it's a metal peg, you don't have to worry about the plastic bending or warping over time. So for the most part, I think it will stay solid and secure for a very long time, really. And yeah, overall... Because of her design, I do appreciate how they were more true to her character because with a lot of female statues, companies often like to make them like super sexualized or pronounced like some sexual themes and stuff. But with this statue in particular, even though her design is quite revealing anyway, I do appreciate how they didn't really make it too like they didn't make the pose too sexual or anything or pronounced any specific features to be more on the sexual side so i do appreciate that so it's more kind of true to her character really so yeah that's the figure itself let's have a take a look at the accessories so for accessories, she comes with this interchangeable arm, which is the Demon Blight Hand. And that just easily swaps out with her uh, left arm. I can show you that in a bit. But um, I say easily, but it is actually quite finicky because of its... Because she has a lot of like rips here and there. When I push the arm in, I'm scared that I might like accidentally bend these too much or break them so you have to kind of be careful when you're changing the arm out um, as well as the demon blight hand she also comes with this stand which i don't really find it all that useful really so what it's supposed to do is to add more support for the figure and in the instructions it basically says that you need to basically have this angled point and you have to kind of slot it up down in her hair so the instructions say that it's supposed to attach around here so you put the stand on the stand and then you kind of just set it there and hold up the hair but there's no real any hole that you can slot the stand in and so there's nothing so there's nothing really to kind of keep it in place so it's just kind of it feels a bit i don't know pointless i guess but as you can already tell the figure stands perfectly fine on its own like even just with the one peg on her leg she stands just fine like 
she's not really unstable or tends to wobble or anything. So she won't fall over anytime soon. So with the arm I mentioned before, to swap out the yarn, you simply just have to lightly pull on her left arm. Just wiggle it gently until it slowly detaches. I don't want to force anything and break it, okay? And this is what I mean, like with all these material parts, I don't want to like cause any damage while I'm interchanging. So I mainly just hold on to the hand and just wiggle it like that. And then to swap it on, you just simply line up the shape in the hole there. And then once you find it, you just, again, just gently wiggle it in. Again, I just want to be careful, I don't cause any damage or... Um, once it's in there, it's pretty uh, secure, like it won't fall off, like it's not loose or anything. So yeah, this is what the figure looks like when she's got the Demon Blight at hand. It just makes the pose even more dynamic. And makes the character's kind of expression just portray through the figure a bit more, I think. Adds the more demonic side to her. But as you can already tell, once you... I mean, the figure itself is actually quite big. Like, it's quite tall and quite wide as well, but once you add the uh, demon hand, it makes it even more bigger. So but overall, it just makes for a really nice and dynamic piece. It's really cool overall. For my final thoughts, if you're a huge fan of this character or you're a huge fan of the game itself, then I highly recommend getting this figure. As I already said before, she is on the more pricey side, but I imagine she'll quickly rise up in price very soon. So again, if you're after this figure, then I recommend getting her sooner than later. And if you do, I, I can guarantee you won't be disappointed like the sculpt and the detailing is just very nice and well just well done really and the pose is also very dynamic it just makes for a really nice overall piece and extra added hand just really brings it to life really Yep, so that's my review on Velvet. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures. Yeah.